Tell you now. <laughs> Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War. Wow. It, it was extended because that's an intro. That's an intro. It is Ultima Lucha Time Sword. Did you also did you also throw yourself in a plate of glass during that intro? Because yes, that's the theme of the week, I believe. Um, ha- well, all right, you know what? We'll we'll get there. Wait, 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 Sorg, Sorg, we will get there. So much class, okay? So much class. I'm Mad Mike. You are Mad, Mad Mike. Mike. You're Sorgatron. Am I? Yeah, that's that that's what it says on your title that's right under you. Oh wait, 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 wait. Now it does. Well, there yeah, you go. That's, right me. There. that's me. Um Sorg, we're here to talk Ultima Lucha Parte Uno. Um We have three more weeks of this. Oh don't say that. Don't say it. say at least say it happily. Like, we have three more weeks of this. It's like holy crap, we have four three more weeks of this. Um Sorg Sorg. Let, let's just let's just do it right. Qual es tu palabra para lucha oh, underground? Ultima trace parte uno. Oh jeez, blood! It's all about the blood. <laughs> okay, uh, my uh, mi palabra this week is glass hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! We're yeah! Not ready for that one? Not I ready. feel like the ending of never ending story. I'm like, I've been waiting 24 hours to make that joke. Yeah! <laughs> like, honestly, you were all about the even... 80s, 90s movie references, th- this set of shows. Sorg, I almost tweeted hashtag glass hole about 18 times mm-hmm. during that match. And I'm like, you know what? Gonna save it for the show. Mm-hmm. Gonna save it for the show. Gonna save it. For the fans, gonna save it for the rock, gonna save it for the people. <laughs> Hashtag glass hole. <laughs> Sorg, um, now uh, th- this is gonna be hard to narrow down. Qual uh, <laughs> is tu bueno para lucha underground? Ultimate Trace Parte Uno? We started with a first blood match. <laughs> we started with first blood. Hey, oh, oh. Sorg, primera sangre. What? Primera sangre. First yes. Blood. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. Primera sangre. Um, Yay! I got Sorg to say a Spanish word. C. <laughs> C. This is this Yay! is. Yay! This. Geez. Sorg, I went into full Espanol during my tweet storm during this match. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like, I literally have a a tweet where the only English word is underground. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, just, I think it was like, Cuidado! No eres bueno! <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, One of the funniest things to me right now is you just yelling Spanish words too. I just <laughs> want to put that out too. That that's fine. That's fine. Um, uh, me bueno this week. Doctor Wagner with his mask. Oh one, yeah. One, la- one last time. One last time. One last one ride. Last time. Of a masked Doctor Wagner. Yeah. Because because yeah. well, those that don't know, he lost it at uh, Triple Mania this year, right? Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of cool. Like. I kind of thought that's where they were going to go when they announced the handicap match mm-hmm. and then turn it into a handicap match. <laughs> but still, it was nice to see Dr. Wagner come. And, you know, we're going to talk at length about the Hell of War match. Obviously, of course. Of course. it was amazing. I want to give some love to what Tejano, famous being Dr. Wagner, did in that match. Because that's a that's a tough sell. That's a tough sell to pull off. Mm-hmm. And especially with famous B getting the actual pin. Mhm. That's a tough sell and they pulled it off really really well, I thought. And not you know nothing against you know just the way that famous B the character has been, right? Yeah. Cuz as not really a wrestler. Well, I mean, he was in season 1, but well, yeah, he yeah, but he's been he more he wasn't a very good wrestler. Right. Well, <laughs> he kind of fit more with his character. Uh so 
He was one of the first arm breaks, and this is the second time I think he's had his arm broken, right? Because he was a he was an original yeah. Pentagon victim. Yeah, he he. This is the second time. Mm. But yeah, I, I thought I thought that was great. Um, all right, uh, so Sorg, Qualis uh, to Malo, is there a Malo? Uh, if you don't like blood, you should stay home. <laughs> That all right? That is a fair. That is a fair point. Because it got, it got gruesome. Like it got like started reminding me of the old I- ICP Strangle Mania tapes with uh, all all the death matches. So, do you want to know how gruesome it got? Vampiro said, "Okay, that's enough." <laughs> <laughs> Vampiro said this. Vampiro, the guy who, who in the first Ultimate Lucha. Got thrown onto light tubes. Yeah, yeah. Who, 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 who worried a friend of the show, uh, 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 Krista Joseph, so much that like, well, this is the end of this show with the executives who who loved it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, yeah. Who we went completely off script and and way further than they intended to for the television show in in the first season, but really yeah. set the tone for this. That's for sure. <laughs> Fucking hell, it did. Uh, uh, me, Malo. Why couldn't we have best of five? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Why not? No, actually, no. Uh, on the real, uh, me Malo is I feel like no DQ and first blood should have been switched. Mm-hmm. I understand why it wasn't because if you're in a no DQ match in Lucha Underground, you're probably gonna bleed anyway. But <laughs> wait, I wait, wait. wait. It... How about how about how about the no DQ was probably the tamest stipulation you can have. Out of those, out of those three. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean no DQ? We just had a first blood match. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean no DQ? That's just a normal lucha underground. That's just match. we're just gonna have a match. I mean, but too fair. I, I get it. It's like first one you made him bleed, second one you pinned him, and the last one you have to put him in 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 a medevac. Yeah, yeah, a, a death trap also. You have to put them through a death so, trap. Who put this glass here? I, actually, actually the. The placement of the giant plate glass thing, I thought was really weird. Especially since it wasn't there like a minute ago, and then it was. Yeah, and you also really couldn't see the medevac transport. Yeah, yeah. Like, that that part bothered me slightly, but, <laughs> I mean, we're, we're doing a show here. We have to have some nits to pick. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Listen, if I was putting together a multi-million dollar production in L.A., I think I would have put the medevac in a different spot is what you're saying. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Because while, while or, we or already... The giant plate, while or we, the giant plate glass thing in a different spot. While we already make pure speculations about pro wrestling that neither of us really know how to book, we are also going to make... <laughs> <laughs> reservations about the way you set up something in a production <laughs> method <laughs> yes. in Los I Angeles. Do like, I do like how it was explained, though. Yes. How was it explained? Was, um, basically, Stryker said that Dario Cueto set this up because he loves violence and he wants people to go through hell. I'm like, <laughs> yep, that works. So really, you can put a MacGuffin <laughs> anywhere and say, well, Dario likes violence. Yep, basically. <laughs> like, if there is a literal gun, hey, Dario likes violence. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Makes sense. Our boss is an asshole. If, was... <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Trump care. Uh... <laughs> Hashtag Dario care. Ah, uh, yes. Hashtag Dario care. Oh, God. Basically, the, in the end is uh, uh, you won't need health insurance. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> Don't worry, you're going to be too far gone no, at this point no. where medical doctors can save you. You don't need health insurance where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the monster Matanza's cage. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All the right. doctor will see you now. <laughs> Dr. Wagner. Dr. Wagner. Dr. Wagner. That makes sense. Doctor. They got a doctor. They got a nurse. They got everything hooked up in the temple. It's its own. Uh-huh. It's like it's, a, it, it's own socialist uh, uh, government. By the way, uh, Famous B's new favorite joke now is a cowboy, a doctor, and a nurse walk into a temple. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, Sorg, uh, Qualis to Cambio. Do you have a Cambio this week? Uh, wait, my uh, Cambio will be, my cambio ahead, will be changing ahead. where the glass plate thing is. <laughs> <laughs> my, my Cambio. 
Um, I feel like I feel like um, we left off really quick on the uh, Tex- Tejano situation. I said it right. Oh. I almost didn't. Uh, <laughs> but because we just kind of left it, and that was it. Like there wasn't like a lot of reaction to it, and um, I, I thought that was a little quick. That, that's my only thing. And I know you're probably not going to get anything more out of it until the next season, right? Yeah. Because you're going to catch up to where he's been and how he's been dealing with it. So I, I just wanted a little bit more resolve reaction to personally a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you on that. Um, but I mean, you know, uh, who knows? We might even get like a want, backstage segment in between maybe, one of the RLs and Maybe. Segments. We I, might. I feel like there's not going to be a lot of backstage se- segments in the last, next like three weeks. Oh, I don't know about I that. I feel like until like that final kind of wrap up thing, I I feel like it's going to be a lot in the ring. I don't know about that because there's still a lot of backstory that's going on. Mm-hmm. Because I, I I'm hoping that we see the uh, Captain Vasquez next week in Katrina's the temple. In, in the, the temple. temple. In the temple. Ooh, like if she comes in, turns out she's a badass wrestler, goddess thing, and says, Mommy's home. Yep. Just something like that. Like, I, because there's, there's a lot of people that we need to see before the season wraps up, mm-hmm. I think. And you did say next week is the telenovela episode. <laughs> that's, that's what I was saying off air. Yes, next week is the telenovela. Um, but all right, so, so so we went through the, the three things that we do on this show. Let's talk about that hell of war match because holy fuck! <laughs> so this is the match that they were talking about, right? This is the match that that the show was is, talking about, right? If it wasn't, wow, <laughs> what do we have to look forward to? <laughs> yeah, if yeah. It wasn't, yeah. I assume it was. Mm-hmm. I uh, back back. Um, when we were in the uh, break of, was it in the break or was it even before season three started? Mm, I feel like it was in the break. Okay, uh, but uh, a friend of the show, Chris and Joseph, told us about a match that he said was the most brutal thing they've ever shot. Yeah, and that I'm assuming it was it. I'm assuming it. it was yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Because oh no, it was it was the break. Because I had asked him if it was more brutal than the weapons of mass destruction match, and he said, oh yeah, definitely. And kind of intimated that maybe Killshot was involved with it. So yeah, yeah. So we're in Ultima Lucha, Mike. I gotta. I'm gonna have to talk to you off air about the things that I didn't see. Cause okay. Because I, yes. I don't think we're seeing it. We 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 can't be, and so it's not a spoiler. I think it was just something that was left on the cutting room floor. So okay. Then. But I don't want to talk about it here just in case. But but Mike, I'm going to tell you some stuff off air that I saw okay. when I was at the Lucha okay. taping, which was the All month right. before they did Ultima Lucha. Okay. So, but hmm. but but still, this match, uh, yeah, it, it it was incredible. Again, it started with a blood uh, the blood match. Um, then they found all the glass. Uh, By the way, I, I love that because me personally, in my brain, I'm thinking it's a first blood match. Dante has to lose because Killshot is wearing a mask. <laughs> oh, it turns out, and how <laughs> wrong I was. Turns out. <laughs> Turns out there's just gonna be a shit ton of glass in this episode, mm-hmm. <laughs> and lots of bleeding from the back. Mm-hmm. Holy crap, lots of bleeding from the back. I, and I love like Killshot lost that first match, but was not the most messed up from glass. Because then they didn't clean it up. I thought, like, oh, they're going to break. They're going to clean it up real quick, right? No, they left the glass for the Ooh. entire match, which just means you were uh, just every bump was in glass. And yep. even the referee when he had to count the pinfall in the no DQ match. Poor bastard. Every single pinfall, and, and he probably got glasses in. It's obviously some kind of Hollywood safety glass. that you're, It's definitely not going to be giant shards, although some of those were really big chunks um, uh-huh. out there. But it's enough that it's going to, like, you know, cut and, 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 you know, mess up his back, as you saw from, from Dante the, the, the entire match. Um, holy crap, guys. <laughs> and also, when he went through the glass, I didn't realize there was tables underneath it. Off of the yeah, uh, you're not, until, until they showed the uh, the close up, I'm like, ah, of course there's tables underneath too. Dario, you, you asshole. <laughs> Hashtag Dario care. <laughs> but, but no, in the end though, that helps, right? Like physically, that that does yes, help. Yes, of, like, of course. Otherwise, you're yeah. going through glass on the concrete. The glass isn't going to stop you. 
yeah, no, at no. all, if any. No, so. The glass is not going to provide any sort of cushion. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, but oh man, but that that whole thing, and you know what? To me, the most brutal spot in the whole match had nothing to do with glass. <laughs> and what was that? The superplex to the outside where it almost looks like both of them broke each other's necks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where that... they just like they did like a double cartwheel over the outside in a superplex. And there there was even a call in there about how this is what messed up uh Dynamite Kid. Yep. So like uh just there there were so many things and there was one um one snap DDT that Killshot had mm. where he not where he kicked um Dante's legs into the rope. Oh, it it just looked awful, but awesome. Is there a word for that? Like awesome? Awfulsome. Awfulsome. Yeah, I think okay. that works. Okay, awfulsome. awfulsome. Yeah. But, oh, man, like, this match is not for the faint of heart, but. No. Man, is it fun to watch. <laughs> oh, and uh, Sorg, uh, one thing I did notice, and I'm not sure if you picked up on it. If, if you didn't, you have to watch it back again. After they do the barbed wire spot, because of course there's barbed wire because Lucha Underground, um, you need like the camera is showing the guys in the ring, but just in the background you see Melissa Santos's face, mm-hmm. and she's just like, "Oh no, yeah, yeah, <gasps> oh yeah. no." I love you had <laughs> everybody reacting. You had the referee reacting to these things. You know, and, uh-huh. and and again, a referee that's been like in the house of violence for the last three years. You know, like, and, and the one part when it looks like we're going to the finish, where uh, Killshot has Dante on the gurney mm-hmm. and he's wheeling him out. Vampiro is standing and clapping, like he's just standing and clapping behind them, because <laughs> everyone thinks the match is over. And I'm like, oh, something tells me this match isn't over now. <laughs> But yeah, just uh, just just fantastic. It was just more backstage of the temple. Yeah, yeah. Like that—that that was kind of cool. We just had a really weird uh, digital glitch with you, where you went kind of chipmunk. It was interesting. Uh, but okay, then. <laughs> you're breaking the internet. Uh, you know, no, yeah, it was cool to see him like go back there and like, who puts this glass here with all these safety <laughs> with all these safety marks on them. I thought I thought the glass was to replace Dario's window because that happens a lot. Well, that's what they said. They said, "Oh, there's that glass okay. back there," to, you know, because you know Dario's window gets smashed out a lot. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh no, this is even bigger, buddy." And it's just like, "Okay, uh, all right." So, yeah, and then setting it up on on the chairs, like it. Oh man, it was just the tension was real. <laughs> yelling, yelling at the referee, uh, "Help me with this, or I'm going to put you through it." <laughs> He forgot he said that. He's like, do he you want to bleed? If not, help me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, oh, so many good points. And the best that. part is, Sorg, I still don't know who the heel and who the face is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. And, I, and that's that's what I talk about. And, and you know, I, I, WWE tries to do this, but I don't think to nearly the great effect. You're, you're really not interested on who to cheer for. Because let's be honest, Pentagon Jr. is not a good guy. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. He's definitely not. No, no. So, I mean, you broke a woman's arm a couple weeks ago. So oh, we forget this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like another wrestler. It was Brenda. It was yeah. It wasn't even a wrestler. It was Brenda. Yeah. Like if he did that to Sexy Star or Taya, like okay, that's you know spoils of war. Absolutely. But, but he did it to Brenda. Brenda, who hadn't, who could do nothing to harm Pentagon. Like at least Famous B could try and fight Pentagon. Brenda would have just been like, I'm sorry, Mr. Pentagon. Like, I don't know why she was Harley Quinn for a second, but she like there's nothing Brenda would have been able to do. No, no, absolutely. I'm sorry, I was distracted because somebody just checked their hair in our window, like two feet from me. And I'm just like, Excellent. Hello? uh, hello. <laughs> so Um, but Sorg, you know what I did like? Um I like the symmetry to their storyline. Okay. Cause because the whole storyline was that Killshot was uh Dante was pissed that Killshot left him for dead. Mm-hmm. And this time, Dante was thrown through all that glass and the tables and everything. And Killshot picked him up like a good soldier and delivered him to the evac. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, you didn't you didn't think you didn't think I was gonna get deep on this shit, did wow. you? Wow. Huh. It's like it's like the finale of MASH type shit. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. Like honestly, if it ended up with a lucha with a with a lucha crane shot, and you just saw lucha with the asterisk put, put in on the roof of the temple, that would have been amazing. <laughs> you're 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 super callback all all week on midweek war. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. We got He Man, Never Ending Story, Mash, uh, Baby's Kids. By the way, if you want to know where all those other references came in, watch the other episodes. Yeah, so yeah we talked surf, ni- surf Ninjas off air a little bit. Maybe I tweeted yes, a link. Yes, indeed. Oh, by the way, you can find the entirety of Surf Ninjas on YouTube, apparently. Oh, and uh, Sorg, I have also, I have a new headcanon. Mm-hmm. Um, Killshot is an alternate timeline version of Rich Swan. Oh, wow. So, like, Dark Universe Rich Swan. Yes, yeah, in in, uh, in in Killshot's timeline, he got drafted. In Rich Swan's timeline, he went to party. The two experienced the '60s in very different ways. <laughs> <laughs> can you handle it, Sork? <laughs> apparently, Dante. Ah! Apparently, Dante can't. Yeah, definitely not. But uh, j- just such a good match. It was like, and this is Sorg. Did you realize that we also got another match scheduled for Ultima Lucha? What was the new one? We get a battle royal for a unique opportunity. Oh, I missed that. No, 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 Michael. I had to glitch and restart the thing. I don't think I saw that. Sorg. All right. So let's talk next week. Next week, unfortunately, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be at New York Comic Con. Mm-hmm. But we know what matches are happening next week, Sorg. All right. Let's break this down. Because, like I said, it's the telenovela week. So I have a feeling we're going to see some fun shit. We have Katrina and Eva Lise, which we've already made predictions on. Yeah. Yeah. We have, <laughs> we have Mask versus Hair, Phoenix versus Marty. Which we've already made predictions on. Yeah. And we have a unique opportunity battle royal. All right. Sorg, are you ready for the people? I'm going off of memory. Finally, Mill Maskers go- is going to get his. Not Mill. Yeah, Mill Maskers. What was a little one? No, Mill Ma- no, Maskers is, is the WWE Hall of Fame. Oh. In the 60s. <laughs> Mill Mascara? Mascarita. No. Mas- Mascarita. Mascarita Sagrada. Mascarita Sagrada. Mill, Mill Mascarita Sagrada. We're just right, going to come back. Sorg, Sorg. Sorg, do you want to know who's in this battle royal? Are mm. you ready? Mm. Mm. All three members of the Rabbit Tribe. Of course. Vinny Massaro. Of course. Son of Madness. Mm-hmm. Arhenis. Mm-hmm. Ricky Mundo. Mm-hmm. PJ Black. Mm-hmm. Pimpy. Who? Pimpy. Pimpinella. The the uh the crossdresser. The crossdresser from season one's back? Yes. Yes. And Masqueria Sagrada. I think there's someone else there that I'm missing. Oh, the Mac. Okay. The Mac is in it All too. Right. Uh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. But I, I might be missing someone else. I don't think I am. But that's gonna be a fun match because have we seen a Lucha Battle Royal before? I don't believe we have. Not that I'm aware. I mean the closest thing you have is Aztec Warfare. Yeah, been, and that's not a battle royal because it's pinfall or submission. Mm-hmm. So I'm really excited. I I think we need to make a pick on this, Sorg, because it's for an ultimate op- – it's for a unique opportunity. Mm-hmm. I ugh, I want I want so badly for Masquerita to win. I'm in that camp too. Like, let, 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 let's just have him – just give it to him. Like, I want to know – could you imagine if the unique opportunity is, like, becoming a literal god? <laughs> okay <laughs> i don't know i don't know why like i i kind of just want to see masquerita start trucking people like <laughs> i think it'd be amazing but yeah uh so so we're getting that match next week sorg mm-hmm. along with the, along, along with the two others so i'm very excited this is gonna be fun this is gonna be a lot of fun yes indeed all right, uh, so Sorg, I I don't think we have to. I, I think we've kind of given it away. Uh, where did you rank Lucha this week? Uh, four. 
Sorg. Oh, I'm kidding. It's his number one, Mike. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's, I know. It's Sorry. Ultima Lucha. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's definitely number one. It's absolutely number one this week. Uh, just even if it was literally just the Hell of War match, mm-hmm. it would still be. Uh, all right. Sorg, where, oh, where can the good people of the internet find you? Ladies and gentlemen, you can check us out over at SorgatronMedia.com. A lot of fine, fine podcasts. And plus, we got a meet and greet if you're in the area for PodCamp Pittsburgh. Free, there will be beer, free beer, Friday, 7 p.m. here at the studios. Check out the info on the PodCamp Pittsburgh Facebook page. And if you go to the meet and greet and use the special code word, Masquerita Sagrada, you get the chop sorg. Okay, Sorg's agreeing to it. Sorg agrees. All right. You can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. And go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet Lucha Underground. And I will be live tweeting it next week. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to watch it yet. But uh, it will be interesting. All right. uh, So for Sorgatron, I'm Mad Mike. And next week, part two of Ultima Lucha. Right here on the Mid Week War!